Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu. Some of you have been asking for another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a face, the front view, and the side view, step by step. You can check out my Fun to Draw channel for over 600 tutorials from easy to advanced on how to draw all kinds of things. For advanced tutorials, you can see this playlist. For easy anime manga drawings, you can see this. And for my cute Fun to Draw characters, you can see this playlist. I hope my different videos can help your art and your creativity in different ways. Okay, so I'm going to start with the front view face first. So I have my pencil and basically I want to start with just a simple circle. And don't worry if your circle doesn't look exactly like, you know, like a perfect circle or anything. All we need is just a round shape. Okay, so once we have that, now I'm going to go into the side of the face and I'm drawing a line that's at an angle on this side of the circle. I'll go down a little bit more like that. So I have this curve and then I'll go back up in a similar way. So now we have the basic shape of the face in a front view. I'm just going to tweak the angle a little bit. And you can always feel free to adjust your proportions and your angles and distances as you go along. Okay, so once we have that, now I'm going to go into the guidelines for the face. So this guideline right here is called the middle line. So it goes right down the middle and now we have the different sides of the face. So this is going to be really helpful later on when we add the features. Once you have the middle line, I like to draw an upper eye line right around here. So if you just take a look at the circle, it goes near the midpoint of that circle. Now I'm going to lower it a little bit and go down here for the lower eye line. So if you're looking at the circle, this line is almost at the bottom of the circle. And of course these lines don't have to be like perfectly straight or anything as long as we just have simple guidelines in there to help us with the features. Okay. Alright, so once we have that, let's go into the features themselves. So I like to start with the nose, and let's take a look at our guideline, the middle line right here. And I'll drop it just right around this area. So I have this little curved line right beside the middle line. Okay, so if you want, you can just leave your nose like that. But for this tutorial, I like to add a little bit of the other side of the nose. So there are all kinds of ways to draw a character's nose. This is just one of them. Okay, so once we have that, let's go into the mouth. And I want to make this character happy, so I'll draw the mouth open, starting with a line, and then I'll just go down here. And depending on what you want, you can have the mouth really open or just a little bit open. It depends on how you want to portray your character. Okay, so once we have the triangular mouth, oh, you'll notice I did leave a little gap under here. If I erase the middle line here, there will be a little gap. Some anime or manga characters tend to have a little gap in between the two lines in the mouth. So that's just a little artistic preference. You don't have to do that. I will for this tutorial. Okay, so once we have the lower face done, let's go into the eyebrows and the eyes. So I want to draw a curved line that is touching the upper eye guide. Okay, I'll make it extra dark for you guys so you can see better. 
Okay, once we have the eyebrow, let's go into the eye. So I'll leave a little gap from the eyebrow to the eye here. And right now I'm just drawing the upper eyelid crease. And for my characters, I like to add the thicker lash line that's a little bit lower than the upper crease I just drew. And if you want more detailed explanations on how to draw different kinds of eyes, you can see these drawings and tutorials I've done before. They're going to really help you to take a look at how to draw different kinds of eyes and how to vary the shapes so you can get all kinds of different styles of eyes. And for some artistic inspiration, you can also check out my other series where I drew myself in all kinds of animated, cartoon, and comic styles. That should be great fun for you. Okay, so we have the lash line right here. That's quite thick. And of course, let's add the lashes. So usually I like to add them on this corner here, but you can feel free to add more if you like, or on this corner, it's up to you. Okay, so once we have that, let me make this a little bit longer so it makes the eye look bigger. Okay, once we have that, let's go down. Move down all the way to the bottom eye guide, and that's where I'm going to put the bottom lid. The, so the bottom lid is going to be very thin compared to the top. To fill in the space in between, let's go into the iris. So I'll just make her look forward. So we have these two curved lines. Inside, I'll draw a highlight right here. Some characters will have bigger highlights or more highlights. For this girl, I'll just draw it like that. And then the pupil, which goes underneath the highlight. So always underneath the highlight. And then shade in the pupil. It will be the darkest part of the eye. Okay, and let me show you a little cool technique that I like to use for my characters to make the iris look really nice and 3D and I guess it gives the character's eyes more depth. So I like to shade the top like that, it's quite dark. And then as I go down, I'm pressing lighter on my pencil until I reach the bottom when I just leave it white. So this gradual shift from dark to light really helps bring the character some more realism in the eyes and I think it just makes it look really nice. So go ahead and try that for your character. Okay, so we're done one side of the face and for the other side I'll just do the same thing but everything is going the opposite way. Okay, so eyebrow and then the first crease lashes and then now I'm drawing the eye okay looking good and if you want to learn how to draw all kinds of cute easy cartoon characters that I created. You can check out my Fun to Draw apps. You can learn how to draw all kinds of cute kawaii things like chibi girls, cute food, and accessories, makeup items, and all kinds of stuff. The links to download those are below in the video description and you can learn on your own at your own free pace on your Apple or Android devices. Okay, so I am 
getting the shading in this iris. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Just at the top. Okay, so basically we have her face, or the facial features all done, but we have to add some more things to make this a complete character. So I'm going to go ahead and add some little ears, or a hint of them. I won't draw the whole thing because I'm I'm going to show you how to add a nice pretty hairstyle to her too, and the ears won't be showing, like for the whole thing. Okay, so I have her face, and let's start with a curved line for her hair. I'm going to begin right around here, so it's pretty close to the eye guide. If you want your character's bangs to, you know, go really close, just lower it. If you don't want the bangs to be so close, you can just move it up, or you don't have to have bangs. For the character. But just for the tutorial, I'll show you how to draw bangs in case later on you might want to add some lovely bangs. Okay, so I have these few little curves and lines just going across the forehead. I'll do one more. And then I'll draw another line that kind of comes down more at an angle, just at the corner by this area here. And this line will come down all the way, and it'll go past this ear. And draw the side of the face a bit darker, so it's easier to see. And if you want, you can add more hair that's kind of covering the ear, like that. Okay, so once we have these lines, let's go up here. Let's finish the top. I'm going to curve around and then go down towards the skull part, the circle that we drew first time. Okay, so once we have this nice big bump, let's draw the rest of her hair. And you'll notice that I'm not drawing the hairline that's sticking right against the skull. I like to leave this nice distance between the hairline and the skull line. And the reason for that is I like to add lots of volume to my characters. Of course, it could change depending on what you want for the character. But usually, leaving this big gap makes the character's hair look much thicker and nicer. And, you know, it's going to give them more volume. And therefore, I think the design looks nicer. Okay, so we have the lines. Let's continue all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and let's go into the other side. So same thing, just draw another curved line that's going by the ear. Maybe I'll draw one more. Okay, so once we have this, let's go into this side of the head. So again, just lots of nice big volume right here. down a little bit. So you can see I'm not drawing the whole thing as one line. There is a break here. There's one line then there's another. So that's a good way to keep the hair looking natural and not too stiff. Okay, before we go into the bottom part of the hair, let's sketch out her neck. Okay, so just two little lines and then the hair will come around the neck and come forward. So just keep your wrist really nice and loose and that's going to help make the hair look more natural. And if you want more practice on drawing different kinds of hairstyles, you can check out some of these tutorials I did before. Okay, now I'm going into the different parts of the hair, like around here and up here. And I like to add some finishing touches like these lines just to give the hair an extra soft feel. And that's also a great way to add some texture to your character's hair. 
Okay, good job everyone. So we have drawn this character from the front view and now I'm going to show you how to draw her from the side. By the way, if you want to learn how to draw and color more cute, easy fun to draw cartoons, download my fun to draw apps for Apple and Android. You'll learn how to draw and color all kinds of fun to draw animals and people, fun to draw food, dogs and cats, wild animals, and fun to draw makeup, jewelry, furniture, and stylish girls. They're like your own mobile art teacher. My easy voice instructions and color-coded steps tell you what to draw, when to draw it, and how to draw it, so you can turn a simple shape into a complete character. My Fun & Draw ebooks have the same collection of characters with easy text instructions and tips. I hope they can expand your creativity and drawing skills. They make great creative gifts. Links are in the video description. The more you draw, the better you draw. Try my Fun & Draw apps and ebooks today. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the circle again. So just think about the face as like an object. And if you turn a circle around, the circles, the shape is going to just remain like a circle. So we're going to draw the same thing, just a circle for the skull. Okay, it doesn't have to be exactly and just like a nice round thing is fine. Okay, so once we have that, now let's go into this area, which is like the triangular lower part of the face. And if you think about this shape, it kind of looks like a shovel, but if you turn it to the side, you're not going to see this part anymore. You're going to see more of this part. So let's draw a similar shape. So instead of curving now, I'm going to go straight down. And then I'm going to go into the curve, so like this part here. But because she's turned to the side, you're going to see more of this side area. So it'll be wider like that. And if we need to, we can always tweak the proportions later on. I think I'm going to add one more little area just to make the back of the head nicer looking. So I made the circle a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have the basic shapes. Now let's go into the lines. Since she is on the side now, we're not going to use the middle line from before because basically the middle line is just going to be right on this edge here. So we're not going to see the other side of the face anyways. Let's go right into the eye guides. So I have the upper eye guide right here and then the lower eye guide around this area. You can change it depending on how big or small you want the character's eye to be. Okay, so once we have that, let's go into the line for the nose. And I'm drawing this line going from out here and touching the edge of the face because usually I like to add a little bit more of the forehead to my characters. I tend to think that it gives the characters a more appealing look. So I'm going to go into that right here. Now I'm going to follow this line, a straight one, which is technically the middle line. And then let's go out. So I'm coming out. I don't want to make her nose too big or pointy, so I just go a little bit out like that. Not too long. Okay. Once we have that, the mouth area could be a little bit tricky, but bear with me. So let's go into the upper lip. I don't want to make it too pronounced for this drawing, so let's go a little bit down. So leave a small gap. Then a diagonal line that's kind of curved right here. And then another kind of like a sideline. I've seen some anime or manga characters, they sometimes don't have this line here, this other line, so which is fine. I guess it depends on the style and also the effect you want. But for this tutorial, let's just show you this line here. 
and then just a little bit of the chin so she will have the point but I don't want it to be too pronounced okay so basically now we have drawn the profile view of the forehead coming down into the nose and then we left a little gap and went right into her smile a little gap down here as well and then into the chin now I'm going back up into the jaw and the cheek and let's draw a little ear just for our guide Okay, so this line just goes right towards the ear there. And now for the eye, let's draw the eyebrow first. So again, the eyebrow is going to be touching the upper eye guide right there. Okay. And then the eye shape will change because she is facing this way and her head is tilted compared to our front eye. So I'm starting with the upper crease again like that and then the lash line which is always quite thick and dark will go right underneath. And then let's leave a distance, go into the bottom. And now the iris and the pupil will change because you're looking at them from the side now. They'll be a lot more narrow and squished to show the perspective. Okay, so you can see the distance, the difference of this and the one before. We zoomed out there so you guys can see better. So you can really see that this area is a lot more narrow compared to that. And I'll put in the pupil. So the pupil will be really skinny as well. Everything's just kind of narrowed down. Okay, so there's a pupil. Compare that to this. And I'll just get in a little bit of the shading. Okay, now for some nice eyelashes. So I think for this drawing, I like to add some in the front and maybe a little bit in the back. Okay, so now we have her eye and the rest of her face in a side view. So that's a really good way to draw a character's face from the side. But we're not done yet. Let me show you how to draw the whole head, starting with the neck here. I want to draw the neck before we go into the hair. Okay, so we have the basic shape of the head. Let's go into the hair, starting with her bangs again. So I'll just draw a big bump like before. And then the bangs will be quite close to the eyebrow. So I'll just keep my wrist really loose and keep drawing these curved lines just all over the place, going across this area. And then the hair is gonna come down. It'll go past the ear and curve out and forwards at the bottom. Okay, again, I'm going to draw the curve of the hair. That is going to be quite thick. So I'm leaving that distance. And just come down. And repeat these curved lines to make the shape of the hair. And then just finish up 
the hair with a little bit of the other side. Okay, and that is how you can draw a character's face from the front view and from the side view. Let me know how this tutorial has helped you and what other things would you like me to show you how to draw in the future. And stay tuned for Fun Friday every week and other tutorials in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss new videos.